Welcome again to the Love and Peace Kitchen. I found this in the garden today and I thought really it's a rose that I have to share with you. And these, I chose these roses because they're not only beautiful but also have a lovely scent. And uh, there is a rose grower, his name is Wacker. And uh, I was told about him. I thought I would find uh, a few roses being sold on the side of the road. And instead, I found thousands and thousands of roses being grown by actually a man who has a, a slight deformity, but he has a great affinity with roses. And so uh, today I share this beautiful rose with you. We're making chocolate chip biscuits. Uh, we have in our mixing bowl uh, 250 grams of margarine and a third of a cup of condensed milk and a quarter cup of caster sugar. Here I have a third of a cup of dark chocolate chips. I've used other chocolates before. Uh, you can be versatile. We have our ingredients, flour, condensed milk, uh, baking powder, chocolate chips, vanilla essence, margarine and caster sugar. Right, I'm going to uh, turn on my mixer and blend until it's light and creamy the margarine, the caster sugar and the condensed milk. Always scrape down your bowl once or twice uh, during the mixing to you always get that little bit of uh, margarine that's not mixing in. You can use butter, of course. Um, it's entirely up to you. Um, so, as you can see, I have quite a nice, light, creamy mixture here. And I can then simply add my few other ingredients. That being the flour with the baking powder and the vanilla essence. I'm going to give that a good mix and have that well combined before I add the um, uh, chocolate chips. I'm so used to using a cap, but I have to show you that I'm actually using a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Uh, so I'm adding that vanilla essence to the mixture and uh, I'm going to give that a good mix. And give your bowl another scrape down just to make sure that all that bottom mixture is properly incorporated into the whole mixture. Give that a mix. Add your chocolate chips and give it another little mix. You can see the mixture is combining well. It's not sticky. It's not sticking to the fingers. And uh, you can scrape off the beater. I'm now going to take even amounts of uh, the mixture, roll them into balls, and place them. I like to cook on parchment. It makes the biscuit making a little bit easier, I find. It works very well. So make, if, you don't use the, if you don't have parchment paper, just uh, make sure that you grease your tray um, so your biscuits don't stick to it. And now uh, we must keep our vibration level high. This is a good time to check your vibrations. Personally, I think that that's what it's all about now, is to raise the level of your vibrations. So it's particularly important uh, to keep connected to things of higher vibration, not things of low vibration. So, you know, that is one of the reasons why uh, you'll notice in biscuits and cakes we don't use eggs. Uh, because that's considered liquid flesh and uh, we're take, taking away life so really that is um, you know, the way to go 
if you want to create a higher vibration initially in yourself, you wouldn't work with impure products. And the minute you start to create a higher vibration in yourself, you're going to be able to then uh, bring that higher vibration into the entire household and then into the world. So um, to work with, the, with pure products, what we call sattvic foods, and of course, the minute you raise your vibrational level, what you attract towards yourself is going to be higher. So, you know, I heard a beautiful story the other day about our a former administrative head who left the body at 104 and uh, she was being interviewed by a journalist in Sao Paulo and that uh, in Sao Paulo of course there's a high crime rate and he had asked Daddy what would you do if you were attacked and she looked at him in surprise and said that could never happen to me she was totally aware that her vibration would never, ever allow her to be attacked by anyone, to me, without any question of a doubt. Um, cooking pure food for yourself and for the family uh, is really, well, is, is absolutely beneficial. And in fact, even your money shouldn't go towards an impure product. Uh, in my youth, um, I was asking um, one of the more elevated souls in the Brahma Kumaris organization um, about uh, meat products and, you know, cooking, if you cooked meat, for example, um, uh, should, if, and you had the pure vibrations, uh, would, that, would that help? those people who are eating the meat. And she looked at me and she said, poison is poison. And uh, that gave me a very clear answer. And then in a very concerned way after that, she asked me, you don't pay for the meat with your own money, do you? Um, and, you know, of course I didn't. So she was very concerned that I shouldn't uh, incur a karmic account uh, by even buying the meat for somebody else. I'm now going to press down on these biscuits, uh, flatten them slightly. And there, voila, ready for the oven. So these are going to go into a 170 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. You just always, well, I find you always have to watch your biscuits and just make sure that uh, you get them at that right moment when they haven't browned too much and they're properly cooked inside. So 